Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. This is uh, the second and third week in June. Um, so I had a business trip for the uh, second week in June. So you get to see a little bit of the weekend there and then I basically skip until the following weekend. So I skip five days ahead, which uh, just happened. <laughs> um, we finished up the tail cone in the previous month and it's starting to get in the way so we're trying to figure out what to do with it so you'll see us here sort of moving the ladder around and seeing if we can hang the tail cone somewhere um, so this isn't the most exciting build uh, section uh, if you will but it's definitely part of building an airplane is figuring out what to do with all the parts so we decided to put it over in the corner if you look on the bottom left uh, video the inset there um, the tail cone is in the sort of the rear right corner of the workshop up on a shelf um, right next to the air conditioner sort of below the TV kind of thing uh, and it's nicely out of the way so we took the opportunity to clean everything up and uh, make some space um, so here I am starting on the left aileron and getting everything ready for, for that. Is that the aileron or is that the flap? Have I done the aileron at this point? No, this is the aileron. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm a little behind. These are the skins for the left and the right aileron. So uh, I can do the skins for these and get everything primed and get the stiffeners uh, riveted on them because um, that's one of the first steps there. Uh, you'll notice that I'm doing the skins for both left and right aileron, but I'm not actually completing the right aileron. I damaged one of the um, one of the ribs in the right aileron while working on it and I also damaged the nose skin while working on it. So those are just parts that I have to get replaced. It's a fairly it's not an uncommon thing to happen in an airplane build is you just damage a part and you decide that you're not going to um, fix it or you're not going to accept the the damaged part and you just replace it just by another another piece. Um, I believe the the nose that I nose skin that I damaged was twenty bucks, so it's going to be twenty bucks out of my pocket to fix that, and it was like three bucks for the rib that I damaged. Um, so no big deal. Um, I will just add, order add whoops <laughs> add those parts to the fuselage kit that I will be ordering probably um, end of July is my guess at this point for that. Um, so I am here still working on the aileron. You'll notice that uh, there's a lot of priming going on. We're cleaning everything up and uh, it looks like I've already drilled and dimpled the rest of the parts and we're now priming them all up. And uh, probably in the next day when it skips forward a day in, uh, in a few seconds, you'll see that we're going to start riveting all those parts together. All right, here we go. Um, riveting the left aileron parts together. Uh, you'll notice that uh, you work on the spar, there's this big counterbalance tube, it's a stainless tube that goes on the front. Um, I made these little brackets to hold the, the aileron in place, and um, I'm riveting one, on the, one of the skins on by myself, which was fairly easy to get to, and then uh, I asked Mary for her help on the uh, top skin so that she could uh, run the, the gun, and I would just use the bucking bar to clean it up. So there we go, we're um, basically all set on that aileron, it's effectively done. Uh, it's, it, it went together really well and uh, we're pretty happy with it. I just need to glue the trailing edge, um, which uh, I, I have been procrastinating on. It's been uh, a few days since uh, that happened and I've procrastinated all that time and not gotten around to uh, the trailing edge. I just put it aside. It seems like there's a lot of Gil working on little parts on the couch in this video, which isn't great. Um, not great angles. But anyway, so uh, I'm now working on the left flap, um, and as of uh, which you can't. I need to put that aileron away, which happens shortly. Um, I'm working on the left flap. There's that huge flap spar there, which is like. Eight feet long, nine feet long. I should measure that. They're they're, they're fairly large compared to the, the flaps on the nine. These are massive, right? They use up the whole table. Um, of course, they're nothing compared to you know like a Cessna 182 flap or anything like that. But for um, a streamlined little airplane like the the RV10, these are these are humongous. Um, so <laughs> cleaning everything up. A lot of deburring here uh, as usual. Cleaning cleaning everything up. 
getting all of the plastic off and then here's the skeleton coming together um, and just peeling the plastic off of the skins and getting, look at look how big those things are <laughs> peeling the plastic off of the skins and uh, getting getting ready for it um, the flaps for some reason were significantly simpler than the ailerons I'm not quite sure why I was struggling so much with the ailerons but the flaps are coming together but anyway, so um, enjoy the weekend, hopefully, and we'll talk soon.